All right, so you've done your back stitch. I'm going to continue. Now, as I get to the, to the end of my dart, I'm going towards the match point. As I get closer and closer to the end, I'm going to reduce my stitch width to one and a half. Okay, so instead of at the end of the dart doing a back stitch, I'm going to have a smaller stitch, which is going to lock it and hold it in place for me. All right, so all the way down to the end of the fabric. Okay, so we have our larger stitches here and then the tiny ones here at the tip. Okay, now at the end of my dart, I'll tie a knot. Make sure you leave yourself enough string so you can tie a knot at the end of your dart. So there's no back stitching at the end of your dart because when you're pressing your fabric, you don't want to have a, um, a lot of fabric, I'm sorry, a lot of uh, thread here, which is going to bruise your fabric. So you don't want any bruises in your fabric, so you don't want to back stitch. All right, so I'll just do a knot here at the end. And then that's it. So you change it to one and a half? Yes. Change it to one and a half. All right, so then you guys can start to see how it changes from just being flat, and now we're starting to get shape. Okay. All right, so then this is our bus start, and then we had a waist start. Match up your notches at the bottom first. Okay, we're holding it so that the, my match point is in the center. Creasing my fabric. In here, I was actually supposed to mark two of these. Did I mark two? Oh, I see it. One second, I think I did not mark my match points. Yeah, on this one, I want you guys to mark your match points because that's where you're going to stop sewing. All right, so for the bust, we're going to do a full dart, which is going to be closed at the point. On the waist, we'll stop at the match points because we're doing a tuck. All right, so I just mark my two match points there. All right, now to make sure that my match points are correct, I will... Pin it on this side and make sure I'm catching the other match point on the opposite side. Okay, so I got it on both sides. Great. Now, when you come to your match points, if you're sewing uh, tucks, you are not sewing to the end of the dart, so you're able <coughs> to do a back stitch here. I'm going to sew at two and a half, is our stitch width. Two and a half millimeters. Okay, then we're gonna do the back stitch in the beginning. Okay, and we're sewing up to this match point here. That's where we're gonna stop. Okay. Now at the match point, this is where I'll do a back stitch. So this is not the end of the dark, so it's okay for you to do a back stitch here, because this is not a point. All right, so you guys notice how I stopped at the match point. I didn't go to the end of the dark, so just stopping short of that. So here we have a tuck. 
Now, if you notice here, it doesn't get the dart here doesn't close all the way to the point. It's a tuck, so we have this gathered, not gathered, but this uh, volume. Okay, you guys see that? Okay, so that's the difference between the dart and the tuck is that one of them is sewn to the point, the other is, is sewn just short of the point, so you get the volume. But then you guys can notice also just the shaping of it and going from just flat to creating this shape around the body. Okay, so that's our front bodice.